Blue jeans are about as American as apple pie. Millions of pairs sold each year here in the U.S. And Dave Llewellyn found that the Motor City is becoming a manufacturing home for some specialty denim. Dave? Uh, Carolyn, Detroit is home to several new fashion enterprises. In fact, one of them is the Detroit Denim Company. They make jeans that are hand-sewn, custom-fitted, and tough. Perfect for Detroit. With the exception of a few places, the apparel industry has largely left the United States. But here, on the second floor of a former letter graphics printing company in Corktown, Eric Yelsma is at work. He's the founder of Detroit Denim Company, and he makes hand-cut, hand-crafted blue jeans. Not everyone wants it, but some people really want it and really appreciate it. It takes over 20 pieces and roughly three hours to make a pair of these jeans, which, depending on wear, can last for years. It takes about 12 wears before they break them in and they, they sort of form and fit to you. So there is a process. Handmade jeans made in Detroit, and the materials all come from the U.S. From the denim, the thread, the hardware, everything that goes into these jeans has been sourced in the U.S. In the 60s, 90% of all of our apparel was U.S. made, and now it's less than 3%. Making jeans started out as a hobby, but when Yelsma lost his job as a salesman for a chemical company, he decided to follow his passion. If I never did it, I'd always regret that, but if I did it and failed miserably, I'd be totally, you know, content or happy. You know, with the fact of actually doing it or trying it. His goal for 2013 is to produce 100 pair of jeans a month. That's a small number now, but figures to grow with planned distribution in cities like Chicago, New York, and San Francisco. This is not a race. This is not about, you know, cranking them out as fast as you can. It's about doing them as best as can be done. That's the, that's the goal. Now the jeans run about $250 a pair, but that's in line with other high-end custom-fitted jeans. And the first customers report being very happy with the Detroit denim jeans. Oh, like it. All right, Dave, thank you so much. There are a lot of products you see on store shelves that are made in and around Detroit. Uh, some you know about, while others, should I say, might surprise you. Take a look. The names are synonymous with Detroit. Better Made, Fago, Sanders. And they're all still made right here. Bumpy Cake is a Sanders classic, just marking its 100th birthday. The chocolate company's been around even longer, since 1875. Another Detroit original, Better Made Potato Chips. They're probably part of the reason we eat almost twice as many chips as folks in other parts of the country. There are more than 50 flavors of another local favorite, Fago Pop. Kowalski's been making kielbasa, pierogi, and more in Hamtramck since 1920. Velvet peanut butter was brought back just a few years ago. We almost lost Ari, but thanks to a last-minute deal, they're still baking in Livonia. But did you know that Jiffy Muffin Mix is made in Chelsea? The company that makes the popular Slinky toy is headquartered in Plymouth. And the company that makes Brillo Steel Wool Pads, that's in Commerce Township. Well, I had no idea Jiffy was made around here. Been eating it since I was a little girl. One of the products we've grown up with and grown to love, of course, is Better Made Potato Chips, but the company has been making crunch snacks in Detroit since 1930. You're you eating eat, them already. You eat this while I read this. Okay. Better See, Made uses 60 million pounds of potatoes a year. Eight months a year, those potatoes come from Michigan. Mark Costello, Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Better Made, joins us and uh, brought some samples with you. Sure did. Thank you so very much for doing Thank that. You Thank you for having me. First question, why Detroit? Of all the places to make potato chips, Detroit? Well, we were founded in Detroit in 1930, as you mentioned. That makes us 83 years old. Um, it just so happened that uh, a couple of cousins, Italian immigrants back then, uh, decided to get together. One had, this, as the story goes, one had $500 cash, one had a truck and a little <laughs> chip experience, and they, they started up the uh, operation and the rest is history. And, and what's amazing is you've been around since 1930, but you keep evolving. You keep coming up with new products. I know I talk about the burnt chips oh, that I tasted. This is brand new. It's not even on the market yet. Well, yes. the burnt chips I tasted oh, yeah, those are, yeah. in the yeah. Channel 7 newsroom, and, and you said those have been around. And then, right. of course, this honey barbecue that Steven's eating here on yes. the set, this, this isn't on the market yet. That is not on the market. That's brand new. That's our new honey barbecue flavored potato chip. It's got a nice sweet honey flavor to it. It's, uh, you'll start seeing it on shelves uh, roughly two weeks from now. And, 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 and talk a little there. bit about the burnt chips, because I, I didn't know about that. I mean, I grew up here in the city of Detroit, but that's really, really popular, right? It's a very popular item. It used to be a 
a niche seasonal type item. Uh, it, it has to do with uh, a special potato that we use, and it's high in sugar content. So when the, when the potato is fried, the sugar content uh, caramelizes and it turns brown. It gives it a nice bittersweet flavor. Yeah, which is popular. Now, you're not only uh, good for Detroit itself, but you're, you're good with other Detroit business, other Michigan yes. businesses. The, we said the potatoes come from eight months a year from Michigan? Eight months a year, we, we purchase approximately 45 million pounds of potatoes from Michigan farmers annually. We purchase uh, roughly a, a million pounds of raw popcorn from uh, Michigan farmers annually. Uh, most of our uh, seasonings and our corrugated boxes are procured in, uh, in the state of Michigan. Um, all of our salt comes from Michigan salt mines. Excellent. We try to keep as much uh, procurement of raw materials and packaging components <laughs> in Michigan as possible. Uh, we want to help fuel the local and state economies. Which is great. So you're not just good for Detroit, but great for the entire state. We're fighting state. over the chips. Over. The entire state. We're fighting the chips. Product, so Thank you very much. Good luck as you continue. Could you grab for me? Great for yes, I will. If you'd like to learn more about products made in Detroit, just go to our website, Detroit2020.com. We're also on Facebook and Twitter, so make sure you check it out.